Hello, how are you doing? We are Switchfoot, and you are watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. My name is Rob Beckley. I'm the singer for Pillar. We're on a stop here at the wonderful Creation Festival in Shirleysburg, Pennsylvania, which is somewhat in the middle of nowhere, but somehow thousands of people accumulate here. Around 80,000 people every year for Creation Festival. As you can see, a lot of people camping, a lot of people in, uh, walking, enjoying themselves, going from place to place, many different stages, lots of food to eat, lots of bands to see, lots of people talking and speaking, things to hear. Always something going on here at Creation. This is our seventh year at Creation, so we are, I guess, veterans of the Creation Festival. We've played probably all the stages. We've played it at multiple locations. We've, we've been around. Veggie tails are walking around, you won't see that at Woodstock. That's Larry the Cucumber and Bob the Tomato, and yes, I know who they are. I have kids. I'm not ashamed of that. There's there's just a lot of a lot of similarities, a lot of differences. Um, the biggest similarity is it's all it's a lot of music. Some of these festivals have uh, you know hundreds and hundreds of bands playing, so there's music all all day, all night. Music appreciation is, is something that is very similar but you won't see a lot of beer nobody nobody sells beer here um, not a lot of uh, not a lot of smoking going on there's probably a lot more speakers at a, at a mainstream festival I don't know that uh, that anybody really takes time to speak because they're always just like shut up and play and here it's kind of an encouraging thing to take a break from the music and maybe go to another tent and listen to somebody talk somebody canceled today and they actually asked me if I would fill in to be a speaker for them I, uh, I got the call I have, I'm, I'm moving up. I have no idea what I'm going to say. I just walk out there and start talking, throw stuff at kids. I don't know. As far as listening to just Christian music, I think it's kind of tough. You know, the Christian market makes up just such a small portion of the music industry. And if you're only influenced by this much, it's like there's, you know, so much more out there that can that can make an impact on you. I'll listen, you know, everything from Kanye West to Johnny Cash and Foo Fighters and, you know, Filter. Uh, it's one of those debates in the in the Christian, I guess, music industry is a lot of people believe that you should only, in, in, in this industry believe that, yeah, you should only be listening to Christian music. And, um, but it's like, what's the definition of, you know, of Christian music? I don't know, the heart of the artist maybe. Bono, you know, probably one of the biggest acts ever in, in rock. Probably not considered a Christian band, but every Christian band here probably has U2 on their playlist.